Hello everyone, welcome back to Physical Channel. Now in this lecture we have to discuss about the very main concept in quantum mechanics as well as in atomic or molecular physics. So the main concept is that the concept name is Bohr radius. So the name indicate that the scientist who have discovered the Bohr radius is nothing but the Bohr's. So first of all we have to see who invented this Bohr radius. So the he is a, he was the Danish physicist and his name was Niels Bohr and he have discovered the Bohr's radius concept in 1930. And after that we have to discuss about the what is actually Bohr's radius that means what is actually statement for the or scientific statement for the Bohr's radius. So the Bohr's radius is nothing but the most probable or average distance between the nucleus and the electron in the lowest energy state that is the ground state of a hydrogen atom that means we know that there is a one particular atomic model Niels Bohr was discussed here and in that model he studied the hydrogen atom that means a single electron system suppose we have take this hydrogen atom we know that at the center there is a nucleus and which is a positively charged nucleus that means there is a proton and neutron so proton is a positively charged particle and neutron is a neutral so the charge on the nucleus is nothing but the positive and the electron is revolving around the nucleus and all those things given by the Neil Bohr's according to his postulate that means Bohr's postulate first, Bohr postulate second and Bohr's postulate third. So he have given three postulates uh, according to that we have described the hydrogen atom that is a single electron system and from that he is able to discuss about the Bohr's radius. So it is the most probable or average distance that means uh, this is the distance between this positively charged nucleus and electron and which is the most probable distance in the hydrogen atom but when hydrogen atom in the ground state that means the electron of the hydrogen atom should be in the ground state or in the lower energy state then this distance is known as the that is the Bohr's radius. Now what is the use of this Bohr's radius? So by using the Bohr's radius we are able to calculate the electron orbit size or also we call it as an electron orbit radius. So we are able to find out a for any Bohr atomic model or for any Bohr atom we are able to find the size of the electron orbit or radius of the electron orbit. So this is the significance or use of the Bohr's radius. Now the Bohr's radius is given by the symbol that is Rb B for Bohr's and R for radius and having a standard formula that is a this formula have, having corresponding expression but we are not seeing detailed expression just we are calculating the value of Bohr's radius. So Rb is equal to 4 by epsilon naught h, h cut square divided by any e square. So all those quantities are meaningful at their place. So 4 pi is nothing but the constant. Epsilon 0 is the free space permittivity and having value that is 8.854 into 10 to the power minus 12 Fermi per second. So this is a value of the epsilon naught that is a permittivity of free space and which is in the SI unit. Second one is a H cut. We know that the H cut is nothing but the H cut is equal to H upon 2 pi. Okay. Or also we call it as a reduced Planck constant where H is a Planck constant, 2 pi is a constant and we know the value of pi. So after calculating this value, that is after substitution value of H, which is nothing but 6.6 .6 into 10 to the power minus 34 and value of pi is a 3.14. So after substituting this value and doing calculation, you will get the corresponding value of H cut. That is a 1.054 into 10 to the power minus 34. And after that, there is Me. Me is the mass of electron. That means uh, this is the mass of electron, this electron. So mass of electron, which is a 9.109 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg. And after that, there is E, that is the elementary charge of electron, and which is given by 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19. Now, after substituting all those values in this equation, that means 4 into pi value is a 3.14 value of epsilon 0 is 8.85 or 4 into 10 to the power minus 12 into value of h cut that is 1.054 into 10 to the power minus 34 and the square of that so that is why here is square after that value of m is 9.109 into 10 to the power minus 31 
and value of e is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 bracket square. So after solving this on a scientific calculator, you will get the corresponding value of Rb and which is nearly 0 0.5 to 92 into 10 to the power minus 10 meter or also we can write it into the angstrom that means 0 0.5 to 92 angstrom. So this value should be in a angstrom and this value should be in a meter. So this is the value of Bohr series by using the different values that means the formula that is a mathematical expression. So we are able to find the value of Rb that is a 0 0.52 angstrom. And this is all about the Bohr radius. So in this way we are able to get how the Bohr work on the Bohr's radius.